Hello, Sudoku friends, and welcome to an expert puzzle by sudoku.com. Please bear in mind that I didn't classify it as an expert puzzle, sudoku.com does. So let's see what this puzzle has in store for us. We can start by seeing the fours blocking across and this four blocking across and this four blocking down. So a four must go in this square here. One of these must be an eight, of course. And one of these must be a nine. Here's a very nice pattern that we encounter again and again and again. A one, six, and a nine here. They obviously can't go in these three squares, so they must go in these three squares. And without even looking any further at these three squares, I now look at these squares and say, OK, if they are not a 2, 4, 8, and they are not a 1, 6, and 9, then they must be a 3, 5, and a 7, won't they? And if they are 3, 5, and a 7, then these must be a 2, 8, and a 4. And we have a 2 and a 4 blocking this square. So it's got to be an 8, and these now must be a 2 and a 4. And since we also have a 2 and a 4 here, we know that these two squares must be 2s and 4s. And if they're 2s and 4s, and we have an 8 blocking down here and one 8 blocking over here, then this square has got to be an 8. So these being a 2 and a 4, and a 1 blocking down here puts a 1 in this square like so. Now we got a 1, 8 here and a 1, 8 here. So a 1 and an 8 must be among these three squares. That was a pretty quick. Let's see if we can continue in this way. This 5 blocks up and this 5 blocks over, a 5 must go in one of these two squares, and therefore in one of these two squares. And that means that for all of these squares here, we cannot have a 5 in these two squares. We need a 5 in one of these three squares. And we also know that a 5 must go in the top row because we found that out earlier. Remember the 1, 6, and 9 must go over here, and a 5 must go over here together with a 3 and a 7. Now we know that this must be a 5, and these now must be a 3 and a 7. We do have a 3 blocking up, so a 3 is forced to go in this square, and a 7 therefore must go here. This 7 blocks it down, this 7 blocks up, therefore a 7 must go here. Remember how these are a 2 and a 4? These therefore must be a 5, 6, and a 9. And these, of course, must be a 1, 5, and an 8. We got a 5 and an 8 in the row, so the 1 is forced into this square here. These are now 5 and an 8. And these are still a 3 and a 6. Look at this 7 and an 8 here. Guess where they have to go? You're right, they have to go in these two squares. And there's a 7 blocking this square, which therefore must be an 8, and the 7 goes here. These three squares now must be a 1, 3, and a 6. We've got a 1 and a 3 in the row, so the 6 is forced to go in this square. And the one must go here, and the three must go here, because the one blocked over here, right? These four squares must be a two, four, five, and a nine. Let's see. Four, five, five, five must go here or here, yes. But that's really all I can say. So let's quickly move on to something else and more promising if I can find it. One, three, five, six across here. There's a one and a five here. So this is a three, six. 
there's a one and a six here. So this is a five, three. And there's a five here. So yes, of course, this must be a five. Uh, let me repeat that. This five blocks here, this five blocks here and here. So unsurprisingly, this is a five. Remember how these are a two and a four? That makes this a square and eight. We got a couple of eights blocking across here and one eight blocking down. So an eight is forced to go here. And now these two eights block up like so, and we got two eights blocking these two squares. So an eight must go here. We have all the eights now for this grid. These four empty squares must be a two, five, four, and a nine. We've got a two, five, and a nine blocking this square, which therefore must be a four. This four blocks over, this four blocks down, therefore a four goes here. And these two fours block across, while this four blocks down, so a four goes here. What is missing here? A two, nine, and a five. Let's see, we got a two blocking down here. So one of these is a two. And the, <laughs> the two is blocking down. So obviously this is a two. We do remember the two fours here, right? I just need to keep track of what I'm saying. <laughs> That's often not so easy for me. It's not easy for me. Here's a two blocking across and a two blocking down. Therefore, this is a two. And now a two must go in one of these two squares. Up here, we are looking at a missing seven, six, and three. The three blocks over, so this is a three. These are now a seven and a six, and therefore this must be a nine because that's the last digit missing from the row. We know that these must be a five and a six. We got a six in the row, so the five must go here and the six here. The square lifts here, and that has got to be a five. These two now must be a nine and a two. Here we have a six and a seven. We still have all of these here. I don't think I can do anything with the uh, two and the four here, no. Nor with the three and six here. Anything new up here uh, with the six, nine and the one? No, not really. A nine must go here or here. But surely there is something we can do. There must be something we can do. One, two, three, six, nine here. We know that this is a two, nine. So what about the one, the six, and the three? Hmm. One must go here or here, six here or here, and to three. Three is a free for all, right? So you can go anywhere here. Nice. I'm looking at the two and the four and the three blocking here. Across here, we need to find a two, three, four, six, seven, two, three, four. This is a six, seven. Two, four, seven, this is a six, three. And this is a two, four, right? So a three, six, seven. Now it eludes me completely. Oh, but wait, this four blocks here. This four blocks here, so a four must go here, right? And now we know that this is a four. And we know therefore that this is a two. And that gives me a two for this square. And we are making progress once again. Three, six, seven now for these. So a three must go here or here. And therefore, because we have got a three blocking over here, a ghost three blocking here and a three blocking up here. So this must be a three. That was a nice find, I think, because I think it opens up for some more digits. 175 for these squares here, and there's a five and a seven blocking up here. So this is a one. 
This is now a seven five. There's a five blocking up here. So this is a seven and this is therefore five. The five blocks down, the five blocks up, the five blocks over, the five goes here. And I do remember that one of these must be a one, don't I? Yes, because this one blocks up and this one blocks over and therefore this is a one. Memory is a good thing when you do Sudoku puzzles without pencil marks. This is now a one and these must be a nine and a six. And therefore this must be a seven. And therefore this must be a seven and this must be a six. The six blocks up making this a nine and this a six. Easy peasy, what is going on with this square? A six is going on. And that gives us a six over here. And it gives us a, what's the other digit? A three here. Now a nine and a seven for these squares. There's seven blocks here. So a nine goes into this square and a seven goes here. These are still a six and a what? And a three. And these must be, of course, a nine, which can't go here. And a three. And these were still a nine and a two. Ah, now we got the nine blocking down. That's nice. So a two goes here and the nine here. This is two blocks up, so, and this two blocks over, so a two is forced into this square. The last digit here must be a three, making this a three, and this therefore a six, and a six must go here. The last digit, if I've done this correctly, is a one, it goes here. Yeah, that was uh, not a bad puzzle, as the puzzles go. It was uh, labeled expert by Sudoku.com. I will leave it up to you to make up your own mind what you think about it. Thank you for watching and bye for now.